Hello everyone. How are you all today? This evening? Morning, depending where you're at. I'm Snake Man, Captain of the Dream Harrier crew. Oh yeah. And uh today Nintendo announced the most important game. A new WarioWare game. So I pulled out the old uh, Game Boy Advance cart. Now it's got a save on it, and I don't want to delete the save, so I think what I'll do is I'll just... I'll let the intros play, and then I'll just, you know, play until I get bored or game over. And then we can watch that blog, and we'll just run through the characters. It'll be basically like playing the game. Now there's a little intro. There it goes. It is the best game. It's the most important game. People want to talk about Elden Ring, um, Paradise Stranger? Is that that game name? The Final Fantasy? I don't know. I don't know what that shaking was. I'm on the uh, Game Boy interface. Being uh, captured through S video and a retro tank. And uh, I don't have any digital controls for uh, the GameCube right now. So I'm on a GameCube, or yeah, so I'm on a GameCube controller. Which I figured is a good enough handicap. Exactly. <laughs> I think a lot of people had that reaction. Especially because the, the series has kind of been dead. Like, Game & Wario is not a real WarioWare game. It, it's fun. There's things about Game & Wario that is fun. What I could do also, um, I have a, a Wii U, and I think I can get WarioWare touched on that. And we could, we could try that also, but uh, that will take some setup, so not today. Uh, so yeah, we're actually on my old cart, and I don't have like crazy high scores or anything. Well, let me, let me see how these are. Yeah, I only have 27 on hard elevator. I was much better at the touched game. Uh, I don't think I've touched this cartridge since it first came out. Yeah, I, I like gold. Um, I also have Twisted, but there's no good way to stream that. Unless I physically pick up my GameCube and spin it. And I'm not doing that. I've done it before. I'm not doing that. I kind of don't want to go into introduction, uh, just because those games get repeated in uh, the last Wario. So we're actually going to just start Jimmy. I don't think it- do you guys mind? We can watch the intro. Does he have a unique boss fight? I guess he does, he has the punching one. Okay, maybe we'll go until we get to the first boss for him. It's just there's not a whole lot of games in this category. Also, this is my childhood cart, so it's gonna out my name. You're all gonna know my name. Uh, my favorite character is Mona. I mean, my favorite micro games is probably Nine Volt, but my favorite character is Mona. So, a fun fact about, uh, a lot of the money games that are in this particular category is that they are actually from a an N64 disk drive game. Um, so the N64 had an expansion in Japan called the 64DD. <laughs> I know, you don't even have to pay me di uh, buy me dinner.
Yeah, dribble and spits are a good combo. Oh, did Beta64 cover it? Yeah, so, um... There was an N64 expansion called the N64 DD. And they had a couple games called Mario Studio. There was like an artist one, a 3D modeling one. And, um... Let's finish this one out real quick <laughs> before I finish the story. Um... You could draw a character, and then he would be in the minigames, and there was a few of these. So a lot of the minigames from this intro are from the Mario 60, the Mario Paint, Mario Studio. Oh yeah, it's going to be interesting playing this, um... Because I am going through a scaler and an HD TV. It's a lot less lag than I used to have with the Frame Meister, but... Yeah. It's still not a Game Boy Advance. God, I love the soundscape of these games. <laughs> The soundscape would be carried over into their other game, uh, Rhythm Heaven. Yeah, I'm not sure with all the, the games that were in Mario Studio. TV a little too much. Oops. <laughs> uh, if we ever do get that N64 EverDrive, it does support this drive games, N64 DD games. Jumping one? No. See, everyone's happy, everyone's excited. Oh god. <laughs> and this tiny GameCube D-pad, that's not what I'm blaming. <laughs> but yeah, the WarioWare army is out. Is that how much I gotta go? Again, this is my childhood cart, so none of the high scores are any good. I think I only started caring about high scores um, in Touched, and that game was super easy. Touched might be the easiest WarioWare game. Yeah, one thing we could do with the crew as a whole is we could play uh, Smooth Moves. So I guess we should talk about the mechanics of this game. I think that was a Wada. <laughs> it's funny because like I'm actually also trying to read chat too. <laughs> I was gonna try to go through all the stages and at least their boss fights. Jeez. Flea is dangerous. It's it's so unpredictable. <laughs> Oh, 
I hope it would make everyone happy with the, the WarioWare. I love the boss fights when they get fast. Because they were never meant to. So the music, it just gets all crazy. Oops. <laughs> well. And yeah, this card does not have uh, Pure Row 2 on it. I think I have it on my 3DS. But yeah, this is how we're going to do it, since I don't feel like uh, deleting the save file. We can actually just view the epilogues right here. We can enjoy the story. I love the tiny Wario. Hey, you did it. Next, it's Jimmy. Good old Jimmy. With his flip phone. Welcome to Club Sugar. Yeah, I'm just not sure how long you know, people can be entertained by WarioWare. Well, you can do high score attempts after we get through the story, I guess. Jimmy. We stand for Jimmy in this house. Good morning. And his love for dogs. Hey, give, give, give oh, yeah. A funny thing about streaming WarioWare on Twitch is the auto tags that the game gives or that Twitch gives it includes sports game. Which, yeah. You know, I guess they're not wrong. Maybe, uh, maybe this weekend we can play Smooth Moves multiplayer and, uh, Mega Party games. It's been a good while since, uh, we've done Mega Party games. One thing we could do for alerts is some like WarioWare sound effects. Like, I think it'd be a good follow. I always like the thumbs up the skateboard man gives. And then, poor man's punch out. Speed up. Uh, who's speed up? Jimmy's. Oh, from original, you mean the Wario one, the boombox? So, did you guys uh, grow up with this game? Did you guys have it? on the Game Boy Advance, or did you come in late with, like, uh... It was part of the 3DS Ambassador program, I believe. Just getting a feel for who's out there.
You're right, because they have the lyric songs. That spike would be no good. <laughs> nice. Yeah, Touch was really good because there was really nothing on the DS to play, so I just played Touch. I can only play uh, Mario 64 so many times. Oops. Yeah, it was fun. Uh... I was gonna say something. I really like Twisted. I know a lot of people don't... I mean, they don't, it's not that they don't like it, it's just more that a lot of people didn't play it. Twisted came out after Touched in America. But not in Japan, and you know, it was a Game Boy Advance game. Who wanted to buy a Game Boy Advance game when you had a DS? But I really, I really like Twisted as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and sadly, it's not something I want to do all the time. Go, 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 go. Oh, wow, here it comes. We got a raid. Thank you, Lorigami, for the raid. <laughs> Welcome. Well, we're currently doing Jimmy games. Everyone's super excited about uh, WarioWare. Nope, I did not curl enough. Hello, Mermaid Saya. You guys remember flip phones? I like when you miss on that one. Oh, thank you. Play a lot of retro games during the week, and then my crew likes to play some some, some cool games. <laughs> wow, timing is uh, bad on this. I am going through a scaler. That's my excuse. No, but flip phones, man. I had a Razor when I was a kid, but not a kid. I guess I was in high school, but I bought the Razor myself. Ah, good so good old Fiesta grinding. What? How do you watch Twitch on your phone? What crazy, crazy talk is this? You can only watch video on the Game Boy Video. You gotta watch Shrek. And somehow it's Shrek 2 on the same card. Mm. Yeah, timing ones seem to be a little off on uh, this. Touch that ball. Alright, let's go look at the epilogue. Imagine. 
the nightmare of watching SpongeBob on the Game Boy. Especially if you didn't have an SP. You did it. You're moving on to the next three, man. Yes, yeah, so how progression works is um, it goes by tiers. So you beat the intro, you beat Jimmy, and then this whole tier opens up. And then Jimmy becomes like a gatekeeper. Yeah, I've got an SP around here somewhere. I do want to do an IPS uh, screen mod, backlit screen mod for my Game Boy Advance. Because I find the uh, original Game Boy Advance models just to be more comfy. I also have a backlit um, Game Boy Pocket that I modded. It has a really nice turquoise color with turquoise buttons and a silver case. It's actually the original case it was in. I, I, I didn't buy a new case. There you go, there's the introduction of Mona. No. Nope. First is the gelateria. Then pizza. And then uh rock rock star? Idol? I forget what it is in touched. It's a rock star, right? In, uh, in Golden, she just wants, like, a dress. Her boss has a name also. I can't remember the, the dog. It's a dog, I think. It's, it's like Mo or something? Also has a different job each game. So Mona usually specializes in silly games. Or weird games. Mona says a cab. Yeah, that's good enough job. Joe? Okay. roll with it. Diamond City has a lot of dog people. I know the interviewer, or like the, the TV reporter. Oh, maybe we'll play Paper Airplane. We'll just play that forever. The sniff. <laughs> oh, oh, I got it. Squirts. Just put the ketchup all over that bird. What is your boss in this game? I actually forget. Is it the twirly bird? No, it's this. It's the pound. It's the nail. I like the music in this one. So you're feel. Oh. Thank you for the follow, Saya. Mermaid Saya. Look at all the outfits. Glad to have you aboard the Dream Harrier. Sounds good. Luigi's Mansion right there. Yeah. 
Oh, he's done shit to go. Oh, thank you. I always appreciate that. We're currently running through the Shinobi series, and uh... <laughs> that one didn't want to go. Uh, Jumping Flash. Oops. It was too early on that one. Well, didn't they show him having one in the new game? On the, the treehouse? I really liked um, the Luigi Mansion part of Nintendo Land. It's actually a lot of fun. So the failure state of this is either you hit the hand where you hit the side of the nail, like, if you hit the side, it gets bent, like that, and you gotta fix it. And if you hit the same side again, and you, like, without fixing it, then it, like, breaks or something. <laughs> Toads wants to destroy Mario. Inhabit his body. Like the toast of a piece of or like a bite taken out of it. Damn it. I always forget that one's up and down. It's reason I want to use left and right on that. Mash it. Did anyone ever try to do the multiplayer? Oh. The, the hug around the Game Boy. <laughs> Use the L and R. Hurdle forever and stuff. I'm dead. I think I should have counted. There's one I used to like a lot. It was like a uh, chicken. This is probably where we die. Nope. <laughs> Yeah, make sure you catch up all over that milkshake. I guess you don't have to fix it. I guess you're tempting fate if you don't fix it. Give me enough time, Mona. I got too many outfits. Ah, that's the other classic. Yeah, I actually really like that one. I wish it was in... I wish there was a way to play that with someone. I guess you could parsec, it, like, you could emulate and parsec it. I kind of wish that was in, like, the other games that had proper multiplayer. Yeah. Man, playing that on the, uh, GameCube's D-pad... ...really rough. There we go. It's always good to clear a game that gave you problems. Dang. I thought you could shoot faster, but I guess you can't. Dong Dong never die.
I think in Twisted she has the the bird that you have to like. It's like a twirly bird. Oh. <laughs> Hammer was a little faster than I thought it was. <laughs> All right, we gotta, we gotta go to this one first. Sci-fi. I don't know, it's been a long time and um, I'll be honest, I don't remember all the boss fights. Oh, we've, hold on. We forgot to look at epilogue. <laughs> Gotta know, did she get to get to work on time? Also, Dribble and Spitz are already there. <laughs> I just realized it says the... Says Joe's name right here. <laughs> All I had to do is look. Look how excited Joe is. <laughs> So they have regular dogs, but then they also have, like, people dogs. So is it like a Disney situation where there's, like, um, funny animals and then regular animals? I love the little panda children. Gelateria. I want to get some gelato. Maybe Orbulon might have the easiest game? I don't know, I'd have to think. I really like Dribble's, Dribble and Spitz boss game in uh, Smooth Moves, the driving one. That's how I play Crazy Taxi. That's me. Everyone's favorite jam. I like this pilot wings one. <laughs> Just a tip. That's all I needed. I love the little spits. I kind of want one. I forgot how much uh, repeats he gets. Weird. Okay. Yeah, why don't we get that kind of keychain? Is someone making that? Someone find the uh, Etsy. My favorite dodge is when you don't have to move. I want the ninja game. I like their ninja game. Slick. Wow, we're losing... Lost a, a hit. Before the first boss. That's not good. I straight up actually don't remember that one at all.
Bowser is dead. Can you believe it, guys? Is the ninja one not in this one? I actually forgot. There's like one where the ninja's running down a tunnel. And you have to like... You basically have to touch the enemies and they get like slashed. Oh my, I almost forgot what button I had to hit. I guess I could just hold it. No, I gotta get mash. It is one of those where if you uh, mash, it's faster than... There you go. It's that good stuff. It makes you feel good. Like, I like DIY because I actually did make a bunch of games for it. Um, but like, you know, the games are a lot simpler. What a good noise. <laughs> Yay, get a spitz again. They remind me of uh there's a game called Gale Racer. It was a Sega first like first person it was a super scalar game. So it was all 2D but it looked 3D. Uh, and you're in the car, and hanging from the ceiling is like a, a sonic keychain. And it like reacts to all the physics of the car and everything. I like to think that's Orbulon as a superhero. I never understood that game as a kid. Here is the ninja game. Yeah, fuck Mars. tried to pull a trick on me. How about a drink, bartender? Oh, I have not... I have not done a town with no name on the stream. I need to subject people to that at some point. I actually looked away for that one. I was a little scared. Tension. Okay. 
think I would like this mini, the boss game for this if it wasn't as long. I really like the Wario one, the final one, but it is kind of long also. I think it's because you like you get into a groove, right? And the games get all fast, and then you gotta do all this. Hey. You can't kill yourself with the bouncy balls. Hey. Let's go faster. Man, the red one, shoot. It's baby's first Star Force. I forgot I made that noise. I think, yeah, he'll shoot now. You ever wonder what that is? It's like an olive in a core. Got filled up in rocket fuel. Uh, I was playing uh, pinball the other day. There's a table when you activate multi ball. It just goes, time to fill it up with rocket fuel. I hate it. I hate it so much. What table is that? That's party zone? Yeah. yeah. I love that shitty Bowser attack. kind of dodge. Um, I really like uh, the music in this game and I I'm always impressed like because the uh, Game Boy Advance has some audio issues. It uh, famously does not have a dedicated audio chip. Well I guess I shouldn't say that it has a dedicated audio chip. It's just it's the Game Boy Colors audio chip. So to actually use, like, yeah. the good audio, you have to, uh, you have to kind of program it yourself, um, sound drivers and stuff, and then it has to be all done in software. Oh, yeah. So some games sound a lot worse than... others. Tall Mario killed Bowser again. Yep. My Pac-Man need, needs some work. Tried to pull a trick on me. I do like the shoot noise is basically like um, a classic NES menu noise.
Oh shit, I didn't even see that one. <laughs> Rip. And then Spitz ascended. Level 3 crossing is actually easier than um, the level 2 one, I feel. Yeah. This is bad. We need to get some lives if we want to break 100. Must go faster, must go faster. Poor Mars. Great. Good enough. It's hard to talk over this one just because I like the music so much. Back to back. <laughs> oh, sh I was looking. <laughs> I forgot it's so fast. Well, we didn't break a hundred. I'm sorry. Ninety-eight. That's pretty good. Again, I'm rusty. I haven't played this in uh, years. Let's see where I wanted to go. On this rainy, cold night. I was a merman! Can't believe what they've seen. Farewell, Dave the Merman. Huh? We forgot to collect the fare. You knuckleheads. Go get your ice cream. You deserve it. Clear, we misjudged you, pal. Yeah, well, so when you're playing a new game, uh, all you have to do is beat the first boss stage and then that ends the game. Uh, since we're replaying, we get to go forever until we lose all our lives. This is probably a lot of people's favorite category in all WarioWare games, and it, it's honestly one of my favorites as well. It's uh, Nine Volt, and he always plays classic retro games. Whoa, whoa. 
I like the dinosaur they have. At this point, uh, 18 volt has not been introduced, and neither is 9 volts mom. So you get to do a little mini games based on uh, old Nintendo games. Once they um, later on the series, they would do more up to date Nintendo games sometimes. Like uh, Smooth Moves has Metroid Prime and Pikmin. At this point, it was just kind of a, a throwback. Even if you lived in America and you never got to see a family computer com keyboard. Or one of these. Nintendo's old, like, plug-in things. And this cowboy was like an actual toy. It was a physical object. And it had a little infrared receiver and then the gun had a little... Thing. Vacuum also was a physical toy. You guys gotta remember, Nintendo was a toy company first. Well, playing cards and toys. That draw game becomes, like, impossible at higher speeds. This was another toy they made. Just an automatic pitching machine for kids. The funny thing about this minigame is that the balls sometimes disappear. I don't know if that's, like, intentional or not. Remix. I love Balloon Trip. That Mario game is so weird because I'm not used to playing Mario without, like, the jump button. Damn it. <laughs> I was waiting for that to go away and it never did. <laughs> Was running out of time. <laughs> the the boss stage for Nine Vol in Twisted is a version of Mario that like. It's like the outside of a cylinder, and um, you have to twist to move it, <laughs> and it's really quite weird. Oh, <laughs> D-pad. I swear I hit left, it just kind of got weird. That's actually a bad one to get. Man, we're not uh, doing so hot on this. Yeah, you see how it went, like, disappeared and the music got weird? I guess it's on purpose, but it just... It always looks like a glitch to me.
pet that cat. I watched, uh, watched Danny of Retro Pals play Balloon Trip. And Balloon Fight in general. I'm very good at it. Sometimes you just gotta go for it. That one's also rough at high speeds. For some reason I was not interpreting that middle one as... as a thug. Or a criminal, I don't know. Oh, I forgot. My Virtual Boy's skills, not so hot. Mario Clash. I would like to do a uh, Wario Land series playthrough. I don't know if you start with uh, Super Mario Land 2. So that's pretty important if you want to look at Wario, <laughs> if you want to look at his lineage. But yeah, I would include the Virtual Boy game. D-pad, please. <laughs> go, go, go. Another game you can just kind of play forever is like the Game & Watch games. God, the audio is so weird on that Mario wrong. Yeah, Super Mario Land 2 is pretty comfy. There you go, the Ultra Hand. Oh, yeah. I didn't mash hard enough. You've been downed. Yeah, probably everyone's favorite minigame category right here. <laughs> Good time, Negtron. Yo, get that new Game Boy Advance SP. It's got a front light until they, you know, fix it and then they give you a backlight one. So don't get it at launch. Ah, who am I kidding? He's a Nintendo fanboy. He's got to get every Nintendo hardware at launch. Day as a hoverboard. Hey, 
Oh, I accidentally skipped his dialogue. I apologize. It's probably like, hey, you did it. Good work, or something. Hello? Um, I think we'll skip the, the refights. I'm gonna call them refights with Jimmy. Uh, just cause they... So, the first Jimmy has unique games, and then every Jimmy after is a, re a mix of the last tier that you did. And it's just the, the dance scene. Again, Hello? it's like very similar. So let's go to Dr. Krygor, who uh, I really like his weird ass music. Like, listen to it. Listen to this jam. Oh yeah, if you don't like toilets, uh, now's the time to dip out. This category is weird. I don't know, it's like described as realism, I think? Or something, I forget. But man, the song. Oh, it's always in my head. Oh, really? Got got on the fourth game. I think in later games, he, his category would turn into, like, nature? Oh no, Cat and Anna have nature. I don't know what his games are, he's <laughs> just a weirdo. He would get a, a cousin or something? Maybe? I don't know who... Uh, Wendy? It's like uh, all the characters that exist um, after Touched, I like straight up don't know that well. <laughs> like Cricket. Was it Young Cricket and Master? He was in Touched, I guess. And then Wendy was in the, the DSi game. I think. There was a DSi game that used, like, um... It used the camera. It was, like, bad eye toy. Like, really bad eye toy. <laughs> scared something like fell over or something. So who's what's everyone excited for? Besides WarioWare. Because I know everyone is excited for WarioWare. Some of my most fa favorite things I saw was like indie stuff. It's cool to see a Lek head. That was part of the, uh... The Asobo showing. That was part of Day of the Dead. De Day of the Devs, not Day of the Dead. And, uh, a Lek head was a game I played two years ago as part of, uh... 
I guess I just did like a random indie stream, didn't I? Where I just picked out a bunch of stuff on itch.io. I haven't done that in a long time. I really want to, because it was really fun. I know in September there'll be a, a Sage, which is the Sonic Amateur Game Expo. And that's always a treat. This game's not hard, but if you let one pass in a weird way, it can, it can screw everything up. Or if this spawns like a really bad one. Thirst must be quenched. Look at that steak. Look how big it is. Oh. I was admiring the felt. It was like a ep Kirby Epic Yarn before Kirby Epic Yarn. with the people like as a breakout paddle it reminds me so much of uh there was a company called mitchell corporation and they made um <laughs> talking too much they made oh my god what is that called it it got ripped off and turned into zuma i oh, know I'm, I'm crashing Falling apart here. Uh, anyway, they made a DS version of that. I don't know if it came to America. It was called Tokyo Crash Mobs, and it like uses people for the graphics. It just uses photographs. And I kind of love it. Oh, now we got mixes. Space jar or whatever. I hate the tiny ones. That was a uh, that was dicey. This really, I don't have any lives, do I? A good noise. Yeah, eventually they'd introduce a character called Mike, which was for, uh... He actually had to blow into the microphone of the DS. Not a leave. I like that he cuts of a butter knife. Oh, 
don't know how cute that fish is. Also, good boy. Another good dog. Damn. I think I would have remembered if we got in that game earlier, but we haven't seen it. This game gets rough when it gets faster. So I guess you should just say that each minigame has three difficulty levels, and then once you've done the three difficulty levels, um, all that happens is the game's speed just keeps increasing. And you get very wild, especially with these boss stages. Certain minigames just become impossible at certain speeds as well. But you have to like get past 100 before that becomes like an issue. I was a dummy. Rip. Didn't even beat old high scores. All right, let's go see if um he successfully went. This the worst. It's a good thing he has a jetpack. God, I love this game. This game's great. If you haven't played one of the WarioWare games, do it. I forgot that spray. Uh, what is the easiest? I guess, I guess wait for uh, the new one, but um, on the Switch. But if you have a 3D uh, 3DS, um, was it WarioWare Gold? Is like a best of. It's really good. Let's get Orbulon out of the way. I... Orbulon's not my favorite because his games, they have double the time limit and they're they're much slower paced. They're Thinky Man's micro game. It's saved by space rabbits, who would actually uh, show up in Rhythm Heaven. Rhythm Heaven and, and this game, they have the same development team. Which is weird, because I think in Rhythm Heaven they named the team. I think it's like something room. I also want to play Rhythm Heaven. You know, as a kid, uh, this the, this mini game will ask you to raise something. I never had heard of that. 
I do? This one. <laughs> I've never been that bad at an Amadara type game. That's a Game Boy Advance. So yeah, they're, they're, it'll tell you to raise something, which is basically like to insult it. And... <laughs> This is my hole. It was made for me. I actually forgot what to do. <laughs> you gotta look at the main gear and then work your way backwards. You don't want the monkey to catch the dude. I don't know why. Looks like he's got strong arms. Anyone out there fans of Rhythm Heaven? It's that weird fish that would, uh... They'd use a lot in Splatoon. Ah, it's Hungra! You can attack now, what would you do? Give him the old cheek slap. Hunger is attacking, what will you do? We'll escape. Hunger's attack does not affect you. Try Z magic? We'll give him the ice. Success. Uh, so yeah, this game in J Japanese was all sorts of Japanese puns. I, mean, I guess they tried to tried to translate it over. I think they did an alright job. Praise. This game is gross. Nasty. D-pad on the back. That's for, uh... That's for, uh, Armored Core players. Give them an additional analog stick on the back. Scrolled past it like three times. Oh, I don't like this one. Straight up forgot what I had to do in that one for a bit. That's kind of the fun of these games. Is not knowing. Dang. Kind of not knowing what the game is and trying to infer with the time limit. And you know, they, they give you a single word instruction. I didn't see the fee until the last second.
It's refiller. Let the attack. Give him the boomerang. He's attacking. What will we do? Defend. Impose. My favorite magic. That, that game has work time fun energy. Yeah, here you go, Haze. Clumsy. Did I say Raze? I didn't mean to say Raze, it's meant Haze. As a kid, I didn't know what that meant. This game taught me something. I think it can get really rude. It reminds me a lot of, uh, there's a part in Dreamland 3 where they toss Gordos. And you have to pick which Gordo it is. These are cute turtles. Ah. Oh, I didn't see the last stand. Chore. And we'll give him the bazooka. Uh, we're gonna hide. Right, we're gonna use magic. <laughs> Strom. I hate that there's like a timey element to this one. Because that's like the part that actually messes you up when the game gets fast. Oh my. The one with the Orbulon head, it was like a prototype rabbit. I think it was seven. I goofed. I don't know. It was eight. Man, everyone's all about these uh, rabbits. Code. They can't do that. No, they can. They just can't call it the Konami Code. I might have to take a dive on this May game collection because this one. It's got the easiest boss stage, I think.
Every time you complete a boss stage, you get an extra life. I did it wrong again. I guess I'm really bad at gears, uh, gear rotation. Yeah, I go back to elementary school. Mash buttons! Good old shell game. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever seen the level 3 version of that. Give me all these fat turtles. I want to take them home. I love turtles and reptiles. Munchor again. Oh, shoot. <laughs> it actually got me. We're dead. We actually failed at the easy <laughs> boss game. One tasty game. <laughs> That's one tasty plasma. That's not a real video game line. Uh, no, <laughs> that one. Well, never mind. <laughs> Back in the ship you go. Oh, we tied my old childhood record. Let's go see how uh, Orbulon made out. Earthling, prepare to be dazzled by alien powers. <laughs> I like that they don't even want him. He's cold-blooded. I guess he made it safely. Also, the ship's so tiny. <laughs> You've cleared. Does not compute. Alright, Cat and Anna. That's Katana. I guess it's just Cat at this point, uh, because Anna's like kidnapped, right? By this thing, the evil Shogun. I like the Bomberman ninjas. Oh, it's us. We're the prince. Oh no, Bomberman Ninjas. They've been bonked. It's weird, because they're actually ninjas in this, and then... Later Wario games would just, like, make them eat food. I think Wario wear gold. They just, all they care about is eating. Eventually, they would be like ninja's students, but they—they they seem like they're real ass ninjas at this point. My lore. Also, cat lives uh, hella far away. 
I have to make the journey. I love her dog. This is the other song with lyrics. I, I use the term lyrics lo loosely. Oh, I guess this song just has lyrics, right? The Dribble and Spit song, the lyrics are like jumbled up or something. I swear there's like a an indie game that has that same snail. sad when you see repeat games from the first category. Mario Studio will never die. thinking of doing uh, Mr. Mosquito in the second game. They're just called Ka, which is, you know, Mosquito. Ka and Ka 2. They're really fun games, and they're, you know, very unique. They, they're a little horny. But we did play all of Valis, so... As well as we played that, what was it? Facet Amor? So I think our channel can handle it. Pick up Robbie the Rabbit. And uh, we, oh, we might play Make a Party Games uh, with the crew this weekend. I'm never allowed to play with everyone because um, as you can tell, I, I know how to play these games. There's a lot of members of the crew that didn't play WarioWare. I, f I, f I find the multiplayer is really unfair if, if you have one person that knows how to play these games. It's also just really fun uh, to watch people that have never played the WarioWare, because... Like I said, part of the charm is the, f the first experience, where you just have to like infer what to do. Like, some of the instructions are not clear, and it's great. I like the music here. Ah, oh, this game's a lot longer than I thought it was. Yeah, yeah. Dango. Oh yeah, I need to get back on the uh, Monster Hunter. I haven't played in like two weeks and you know, I gotta fight the final boss and the uh, Valstrax. And then build Valstrax armor, because that's the metagame. Not that I go after the metagame, but I don't know, I like to build a new armor set and that's the next armor set. It just happens to be the meta. I wonder if that's a Mole Mania reference, that Mole Mini game.
speed up. I bring up the car games because that mosquito mini game. Oh, good dog. He's so proud of himself. Learn Japanese numbers with WarioWare. one get me get bopped every time boss game oh no it's not boss game time I got used to Orbilon his boss game comes sooner I do like the, there's a, one of the mega party games is that you're just playing the games, but all the other characters are just like walking on the screen and they can get like slightly bigger, they could ground pound the screen and they're just there to annoy. I really love it. That's probably one I could play just cause it's, it's like that. There's also the card game. I really like the card game. Oh, jeez. I blanked out for a second, I guess. I guess I didn't land that platform. I think this is another one where I have my high score in the 70s or 80s, and we're not going to get there today. Almost ended right there, that flower. Well, <laughs> rip. Rip the run. Oh, it is just in my 50s. Apparently I tied with second place. Yeah, I was bad at this as a kid. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> gotta save Prince Dave. It's okay, dog is here. See how comp like competent they are? Well, co cat at least. I think Santa was competent, it just was not up to the task. And then after this, they would just be ninja students bumbling about. I wonder what happened to all the other ninjas. I guess he killed them. Nintendo doesn't want you to think about that though. Check out this low quality JPEG. And some good sprite art. The JPEG's gone. Oh, look how cute they are. I guess they would be about food because they say dongo. So I guess they're already there. It's just... <laughs> Alright, last category since we're not gonna do Jimmy. 
It's Wario. Anything goes. As long as it's got Wario in the game, he'll play it. This predates Wario, man. I think Twisted is the first time that you have Wario, man. My games are the hardest yet. Look, in this game, he actually, like, put work together. Wario. Remember, everything revolves around Wario. Even if it's just his hand. So yeah, some of the games in here are remixes of other ones you saw, but with Wario. Some of them are originals. Games are hard. I think they're at the. They're already like pr fast, and I think a lot of them are already at like level three difficulty, like this one here. that drink. I like the music here. <laughs> Faster! 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 Max speed! Come on. Now we have a poo. I forget if you can mash this, the ending's this. Double Big Mac. They have one of those now. Oh, he changed. I wasn't looking. Mario's a cheater. He 
Eat this big ass hot dog. Should get a Wario wind sock. Like that mini game is just it just says create. All you have to do is mash the A button. But if you didn't know, and that was just a shake. Soon that the Game & Watch game will have a uh, link. See the boss game once on that one, which means we beat it. So here's the epilogue of the game. Did it, my masterpiece. Three weeks later. This Wario game. Will it really sell? Breaking that cash. You greedy punk. Mona's here to get her pay. Well, ain't got time. escapes into space. It's funny, uh, Gold would have basically the same plot as this game, where Wario would trick everyone to make games. Uh, but they would all, like, enjoy it, and they'd actually get together and make a game themselves. I think that's funny. Yeah, so this is early times. There's no Mona's Pizza. Uh, no Ashley. Space hair. Oh, the reporter's named Ken. And it's me! Either way, I'm still a cad. I hate everybody. <laughs> Wario never change. I really like WarioWare Wario just because he has such character and personality. So what happens after you beat the game? Well, uh, you start unlocking these towers. 
uh, throughout the game. Yeah. You have easy, you've got thrilling, and hard. Um, and as well as boss fights. And these would just mix all the games up. Uh, thrilling is actually one of my favorites because it's like max speed, I think, is what it starts at. And you have one life. Oh, maybe it's not max speed, you just have one life. Maybe hard is max speed. I know hard starts at level 3. Maybe they don't have the max speed tower yet. Yeah, thrilling, you have one life and you don't have any way to refill it. Like, you can't get more. Oh, I guess that was a level 3 version of that game. And yeah, this is level 3 of the space game. Mario intensely thinking. It's always weird when you get Orbulon games because they have a longer time limit. I died to this game. I hate this one because you only get enough shots to kill the number of aliens. Oh, I done goofed. And that's it. You get one shot to not miss your chance to blow. Opportunity knocks once in a lifetime. Uh, you also get these multiplayer games. I chicken race is you is chicken on the edge of a thing. Uh, the Chitori is, or Chiritori is the, it's basically that vacuum mini game that I died at, but two players. Hurdle Forever is the Hurdle mini game, uh, but with two players. Uh, but Dong Dong, I'm gonna show Dong Dong real quick because I, I think it's, it's really good and I wish it was on other WarioWare compilations. Basically, you've got these sticks, and you gotta push these little boulders. Maybe the dumplings. Yeah, it's whatever you want them to be. And the speed changes. Like, it might speed up or it might slow down. Yeah, see, now it's all slow. <laughs> I'm playing this by myself, so, you know hard for me to pretend I'm playing the game. But you get the idea, you want to crush the other person. I think that's a really fun game. Uh, you also get Sheriff, which is an old Nintendo arcade game. But this version has Wario. And... It's, it's Sheriff. If you never played Sheriff, there's an okay version of Sheriff. Actually, probably controls better than the real version of Sheriff. Bird. No. I need to kill this vulture. Help. I actually think the real arcade game had a sample where it say help. I could be wrong. This is a pretty early arcade game. Black and white. Nintendo has a soft spot for this, probably because it's, you know, their legacy. You know, before Donkey Kong. Pre-Donkey Kong Nintendo. Say so owe it. Oh, 
it's really hard to shoot in the cardinal directions. It's really easy to change directions into the diagonals, but if you want to shoot like a down or up, you have to hold the direction for a very long time. And since the wagons are also at the cardinal directions, or I guess I always inferred they were wagons, but maybe they're just signs. Yeah, it's like he gets locked in the direction, because I was holding left. <laughs> Congratulations, Wario. I always think about, um... Donkey Kong... Uh, the Game Boy Donkey Kong, because that has extra sound effects when you're playing on Super Game Boy. And one of them is uh, Pauline saying help. And it's so weird. It's so, like, compressed. It has to fit on a Game Boy cartridge. That's, that's Sheriff. Uh, there's Jump Forever, which is really fun. There's actually a multiplayer version of this in... Um, the GameCube version of the game, Mega Party Games. I love the Wario jumping sprite. Uh, but the secret about Jump Forever is that the speed, it gets faster, but then it'll eventually get slower. It'll eventually it'll get random, where each each jump is a different timing. Like right now, it's just, you know, rhythm. And then eventually the rope moves. If you don't realize, you can actually move left and right. <laughs> So you get to see Kanana in these cute uh, kimonos. Okay. Yeah, now it's random. When it's slow, it's scary. <laughs> it's very easy to jump early and land on it. Now you can move. I don't know. This is a... I had a lot of fun with this game as a kid. Yep. <laughs> uh, finally, if I want to show... Well, you got Fly Swatter, which is exactly the same from uh, Mario Paint. Uh, just, you know, you don't have mouse control. You have Dr. Wario, which is... Wario. Or Dr. Mario, but Wario. Um, and then if you... If you play every game... Like, oh, oh I didn't want to do that. If you see in the grid, everyone has a game. If you didn't see a game while you played, this would be blank. So if you've seen every game, you get uh, Pure Row. And if you've seen, if you see some of these games have flowers, uh, that means I've been, I've went into grid mode, and I beat at least ten uh, score. And if you d do that for every micro game, you get a sequel to Pure Row. Which, uh, real quick, I'll play Pure Row just a little bit. I'm, I don't like it. I like the music in it. So the higher up the seed, uh, the more points it's worth. But Pure Row can only 
can only shoot his tongue out at these angles. Ninety, not ninety. What am I saying? Forty-five degree angle. Uh, a pink one will replace because uh, if the seeds fall, it doesn't end the game. What it does is it takes one of the spots away, and you can't move over that spot anymore. Uh, some of them will heal that spot. Oh, the longer you play, there's like a city that gets built in the background, as well as a time of day. Yeah, so see now, I ate that pink, so it came back. And you can let the edge ones crash. No, that's not good. <laughs> well. Uh, there's skateboarding, which is that skateboarding micro game, but as a non, like, unlimited game. But this is the best game. This is Paper Plane. This game was so good, they broke it out into its own DSiWare game. And uh, the party game has a multiplayer version of this. But this is the whole game. You change the angle of the airplane, and that determines the speed and the how steep the dive is. And you can play it really safe, but I really like playing it uh, max speed as much as I can. Because it's just more fun this way. <laughs> Daredevil paper playing. Ugh. Sorry about that. Probably popped the mic there. I realize I've been talking a lot. I haven't had a... I haven't had water. I forgot to hydrate. Thanks, Dribble. Mm. And that's that's paper airplane. That's all it is to that. I just enjoy that. And that's pretty much the package. I don't think you get the credits until you um, play all four towers. And you might need a certain score in the towers. Yeah, it's great to see a regular-ass WarioWare game. I mean, it's got a new gimmick, but that's true of all WarioWare games, is each time they do the game, it has a unique gimmick. Uh, Twisted has a gyroscope, so you actually move the Game Boy, tilt it. Um, touched is the touchscreen for the DS. Probably one of the slower paced ones, but I like that game a lot. Except for the stages where you have to use the microphone. <laughs> Thank you for the GG's. Uh, smooth moves, you have the Wii Remote, which also has all these really goofy uh, poses you have to do. And after that game, I, well, DIY, it was a, a game builder. You get to build your own micro games. After DIY, the series kind of... kind of died. There was a DSi game that used the camera. It only had four mini games. Um, there was Game & Wario, which was a Wii U... I guess it was a launch game for the Wii U, which A, it was... The Wii U did not sell, and B, that game didn't sell either. <laughs> uh, but it had this amazing, like, Pictionary type mode. Where you just... There was like a giant gallery of drawings. Like, you would pick a category, and then you'd get, like, a drawing. There was, like, no scoring. It was, like, up to you to keep score if you wanted to play it like Pictionary, but it was really fun just to see the people uh, see what they would draw. Oh, you would, like, suggest something. That's right. I forget how it worked. So you'd be like, draw draw Mario, and then this would be everyone's chance to draw Mario. And I, and I don't mean the room, I mean, like, online. I think it was just random. You, 
It would be like, uh, have you ever played Doodle or Die? Doodle or Die is like online Pictionary, but you don't get the... You, you can you can have it so the word you guys just random. It's also a game of telephone. So like someone will get a, a, a prompt and then they'll draw it. And then someone has to guess what that is, but doesn't tell them if they're right or wrong. So the next person, so you say the prompt originally is like a cat. Then the next prompt, or then someone draws a cat really poorly, and then someone says a dog, because they think it's a dog or something. Then that's the next prompt for the person. And it goes on and on. So it's a game of Pictionary Telephone. And it's pretty good. Uh, Doodle or Die, uh, the game of Mario was a little bit like that. It wasn't a game of telephone, but you'd just be given, I think you'd be given 10 prompts at random and then you would have to draw them. And then those would go into a gallery that people could look at. And you could suggest a gallery or something. I don't remember. That's the only memorable part about Game of Wario. Uh, that and you could play the mini games from this game. There's like a nine volts in bed. And he has to, he, he's playing them on the, the game pad because the Wii U and the mom is like, She's got supernatural powers. She's like coming out of the TV and it's like horror music because you don't want to get caught gaming. Your mom doesn't want you gaming. You got to go in bed, go to bed. Um, that Those are the only two memorable parts of Game and Wario. Um, there's a cricket game where he jumps from platform to platform. And I don't even remember what the other game is. Oh, there's an Ashley game that's like a... It's like a horizontal shmup, but not really. Hey you, many thanks for playing my game. Why are you wearing incorporated? Yeah, now I gotta, now I gotta play Rhythm Heaven at some point. Cause they're, they're very entwined, the series. I forgot, you get different music when you watch the credits. Alright, that's all I wanted to do today. I didn't I didn't know what to do with full stream. Uh, the person that wanted to watch Jumping Flash 2 was uh, a little tied up, so I wanted to push that back, because that's, you know, it's one of his favorite games, and, I, you know, I didn't want to play it without him. So I hope you enjoyed WarioWare. Go ahead, it's the ending screen. Also, what do you think of uh, how the S Video Game Boy uh, interface looked on the Retro Tank? Let me know. Let me know in the comments on the Discord, at my web zone. <laughs> Email me if you want a pizza roll. Uh, I want to thank uh, Lorigami for the raid and Sour Cream 2 and Mermaid Saya for the follows. Welcome to the Dream Harrier. It's a beautiful ship. And yeah, thanks out there to anyone that watched. 